What's going on guys, Jay McPherson here, and uh, I just wanna to talk to you about something that's extremely important in regards to getting to the next level. Now, I had someone write me on, on my Facebook mastermind group, and he, it was a private message, but he just wanted to know about how to get people to listen to him. And I was thinking to myself like, damn, how do you get people to listen to you? So these are just some ideas that I wanna um, basically just present to you to see if, you know, use what you wanna use, throw away what you don't want, and uh, let's see if we can somehow come together come together to, to get an answer for this crazy question here. How do you get people to listen to you? Because everybody is different. As much as, as much as we, even if you watch some of my videos, I'm always saying stuff like, you know, you're no different than anybody else. We all have the same mind, this and that. Yeah, to a certain extent. A lot of people are conditioned. Most of us are conditioned. A lot of it happens at a very, very visceral age, probably somewhere between birth and about six years old. Everything that happens between you know birth and six years old is all your parents' ideas, their objectives, their judgment, their religion, school. Um, you're hearing you know you're hearing profanity. You're hearing the, the type of music in this world. That's what happens. Like you come here, and we're really just trying to fill this whole thing out, right? We're trying to understand. What's the purpose of all of this? So because when you're born, you only have two fears. You either have a fear of falling or the fear of really loud noises. So when you're born, you're, you're, you're oblivious to everything. You're just new, you're fresh. You're a little, you know, little, little fragile little creature. So um, through conditioning and growing up and having all these ideas beat into your mind, by the time you're about six, seven years old, um, definitely by 10 years old, you're your parents. You're 110% your parents. You're a little bit of your dad. You're a little bit of your mom and you're a little bit of your ancestors that you know that you were that you came over into this life with you know a little bit of your you know your dna so um depending on where you come from depending on your background speaking up you know back in the day speaking up wasn't something that everybody had the opportunity to just do i mean you were able to converse amongst your your siblings you converse amongst your friends but in order to have a voice and to, and to broadcast a message like, hey, this is me, and this is what I have to say. You know, in order to do that back then, you'd have to have a very high level of power. You know, you better be uh, have some type of dictatorship or royalty or something, because if you talk too loud, they kill you. You know, if you, if you say something out of, out of their radar, you know, if you step out of bounds, if you go beyond the jurisdiction, you're, you're labeled and you're demoralized and you're, you know, you're, you're, you're violent, you're, you're, um, I can't even think of the word, but uh, either way, you're a distraction to, to the main objective here, to the point. You know, you can't disrupt the power. You don't want to disrupt the power. Um, that's at least what they were teaching us, you know, growing up and before we were even thought of. So where you are now, just, you know, I'm bringing myself back, where you are now is at a place of conditioning. You're somewhere in your in your in back of your mindset. The confidence is low, the courage is low, the balls are low, everything is super low right now. So what we have to do is get rid of a lot of the stuff that's conditioning you to, or conditioning ourselves to, to not speak up and find a purpose, find a why, find a reason, find a way to make this shit make sense to you has to make sense to you because that's the only way you're gonna shift your paradigm. That's the only way that you're gonna go inside yourself and find that little, you know, it's, it's in there. Trust me, it's in there, it's deep, but you gotta move some things, man. You gotta move the, the ex-girlfriends, you gotta move people telling you can't do it, you gotta move falling on your face, the embarrassment, not being picked for basketball, friends that wanna, you know, do you wrong. You gotta move all of that stuff out the way and you gotta go right into the root. Why am I doing this in the first place? Hmm. You ever add that? Like, think about somebody that you know that would, would talk to you about, hey, we need to do this, and we got to do this, and we got to, in the back of your mind, you're just thinking like, but why? But yeah, I, I hear you, but but what, what's the purpose? Why do we have to do that? You know, it's the same thing you have to do with yourself. When you're gassed up, if you do have a message that you're trying to get out there, you have to find the, the purpose of that message. Why are you saying what you're saying? Where's the value, right? And you, you definitely have to pay attention to your, your surroundings. Even though you have a message that you want to broadcast and get out there, if you're throwing it at the wrong target, you're going to offend, you could possibly offend people or, or just hit the wrong thing. You don't want to just waste your words or waste your ideas. So make sure that, you know, before you even open your mouth, not that you have something to say, because I feel like everybody has something, you know, has something to say, but know who you're talking to and be aware that your condition 
to not talk to people. You're conditioned to stay to yourself. So the best thing for you to do is to practice speaking to people. Start a random conversation. Help, excuse me, help someone out that's in need of something. You see somebody looking a little lost in the corner trying to get directions, offer them, um, hey, do you guys need help You know, going somewhere? Or you see somebody drop something, hey, you drop that. Or even if you see a homeless person, you know, a lot of people do. A lot of people walk past homeless people, especially here in Miami. They'll walk past homeless people, we'll be dressed up, we look like money, nice shoes, nice everything. You can tell civilization has just treated us mm, so freaking good. But you walk past a homeless person on the ground and just, mm hmm. I mean, hey, you have issues that that homeless person probably doesn't even have. That homeless person, speaking to people, probably the easiest thing in the world. But you have the issue. So you can't always separate yourself based on, on on certain qualifications that would justify your you matter more than someone else we all matter but we're just all our, our level of competence is just at different levels some people just can't do things because they have no ability they have no consciousness of doing that they didn't know it even exists didn't know it even exists if i told you right now to you know to, to show me fifty thousand dollars in the next six months the idea of how to do that may be so hard for you that you'll throw it out the window. Like, I, I, I can't even process that thought. I can't even concur something. I mean, it's just words. The words sound like I can do it, but I, I just can't. It's the same way for a lot of people. So you can just see a homeless person walk, uh, sleeping on the street. You say, hey, man, I hope you have a good day. Throw in a little money. Just say, you know, say something. You have to, you have to undo all the damage that's been done to you for all of these years, man. Like, your parents didn't know what they were doing to you. Your grandparents don't know what they were doing to you. No, no one really knows the most valuable information because it's hidden. It's hidden in books. And a lot of people are taught not to read books. Not they, You're not really aware that you were directly taught not to read, but you really were. That's why there's cable television. That's why there's news. That's why there's TV shows, magazines, all these, you know, all these, all these pictures and the pixelated things that get us, you know, irrationally thinking that, oh, that matters, that matters, that matters, and they all really doesn't matter. What really matters is the experiences of the greats before us, the experiences of our founding fathers. Those experiences, time repeats itself, it, itself. So it's just reshaping our life today. That's the stuff that you want to pay attention to. But in the world we live today, most people can't do it. So what you really want to do, I'm going full circle now. What you really want to do, if you if you have a message that you're trying to get out there, if you're trying to get your, your point across to people, understand where you're coming from first. Understand where you're coming from. Don't judge the person for not listening. Don't judge the, pe the, the, the group of people because you don't think that they're your kind of people. Focus on what the hell you're saying, why you're saying it, and what value does it hold. What are you doing this for? Once you can actually come down to the root and get all the mm, get, all, get all that junk out the way, once you get down to the root of what's really going on, the root of your purpose of why do I even why does this even matter right now? Most of the time you won't even say that. You know? But sometimes if it makes sense to you, then act. You act right away. You have to learn how to act right away. Right away. Immediately. <laughs> okay? So um, I'm gonna leave you with that. Focus on yourself, go inside your go inside your heart. Pay attention to how you feel, pay, listen to yourself, pay attention to the thoughts that you're saying, the questions that you're about to ask, and give it value. If it has value and you feel like it has value, then you can't fail. You cannot fail. Trust me, the way the universe works, the way God works, whatever you want to call it, it kind of just di directs you right to the, to the right person that needs to hear that message. But if you're just lost and you're just out of control and you don't really know why you're doing what you're doing, you're just jumping around, you just want to have, you want someone to bat, you want someone to bat, someone to give you a high five, you want someone, that's what you're gonna get, right? If you don't have a target, anything can happen, right? What's that saying? How, how does it go? Those who stand for nothing will fall for anything. I'm just saying, see you guys.